Hello and welcome uh, to the stream. I uh, hope everybody's all right. Um, in today's stream, what we're going to do is we're going to be looking at um, bear with me. There we go. Uh, we're going to be looking, uh, carrying on with this, uh, the the study. Basically, uh, we're going to be looking at uh, finishing that side table. Uh, maybe get to texturing today. I don't know. We'll see. So we'll just we'll just see how it goes today. Um, if you're in the chat, say hello. Ask any questions that you got. And yeah, hope everybody's feeling okay today. Uh, let's open up this. Okay. <coughs> so where were we at the other day? Uh, let me grab the um, thing. The reference. Open up. So we were starting to model this thing here. Um, and we were... Was, getting there the only issue looking back um, these sides are way too thin in comparison to the actual sides here so I think what we're gonna do is I'm gonna remodel this bit here um, all together uh, and then go from there basically because um, I think as well there's a bit more of a gap here so yeah we're gonna we're gonna redo that and uh, start again on that one and go from there. So we'll uh, we'll start that now. I'm just going to delete that. Not what I wanted. So yeah, I'm just going to keep on doing this one. That's the wrong button. Thank you for all the new followers uh, since uh, last streamed. Thank you for that. Uh, we're nearly at 50. Um, yeah, there's a milestone at 50 uh, subscribers. So yeah, uh, do feel, if you enjoy the content, do feel free to subscribe. Okay, I'm going to save this image on the desktop. And then see it a little bit better uh, so I think that's roughly the same size
Okay, that's pretty good. Okay. Now, obviously, uh, this next bit I'm going to have to do is um, rotate the thingy. So, what I'm going to do is this. I'm actually going to grab the faces, extract them, and then duplicate it a bit more. Make sure I don't lose it. That combine. And then I'm just going to make sure it's the same size as this section here. Okay, because then I know. Okay, and I'm just going to duplicate. I think it was six. So one, two, three, four five, six, I think that should be big enough. Actually, I think five should be big enough on that one. Yeah. Okay. Gonna combine these together now. Merge the verts. This is where I need my uh, mannequin reference because it's going to come up to about here. So we're going to probably need that there. Welcome to the stream if you're just joining us. I'm just continuing on with the 3D modeling of this um, asset. changed it a little bit from I wasn't happy with how I uh, finished it the other day so just uh, reworking the glass bit okay okay and that still might be a bit too high so we'll just bring it down a bit to about there and that's roughly where we want it, we can hide this guy now. Uh, if we look at this, we need to make this bit here, which is fine. It looks like it comes out here on this lip. We have this lip and then we have it go back straight and then we have this bit here, which I'm gonna model in a minute. So I'll give it that a go. I do not know what this music is, so uh, let's let's change the playlist a little bit. 
Uh, we got epic. A bit more relaxing. So if I just extrude. Now the only issue I've got is, yeah, I thought that was the case. So when I'm extruding at the moment, it's extruding a lot of stuff. I'm gonna just reverse the normals there. Um, something about there will do. do a step like that and then I'd say it kind of curves around let's have a look at the other photos um, yeah it's kind of got this lip is there a better photo yeah that's probably better so it's it's kind of it's a step step and then out, okay. And it seems that it's got a um, bit here as well. That's roughly how it is. Um, yeah, so you can do that. So that's roughly how it is on there. Um, let's have a quick look, double check. Yeah. So I was saying that, there might, I think it might be stepped up twice. So let's um, just extract this. attach this back on to here. Okay. Okay, I'm just going to duplicate this off to one side, so if I do screw this up, I'm, I don't have to restart from the beginning. And again, I'm just going to merge it. Let's 
give this a go then. So if we go into rigging, deform, nonlinear, bend. Okay, not slightly too happy. Let's see what it looks like with more geometry in there. We may have to just completely undo what we just did there, but let's give it let's give it a go with more geometry. It's a bit better. I think we kind of got it, yeah. It just needs more geometry in there to support the curve, because at the moment the curve is very, well, not the greatest. So if we um, add more geometry in there to help support that, that should work. Um, one thing I am going to do is Give this a bit of a clean up. So I'm not, let me see if this will work. I kind of screwed that up a little bit by combining it. I probably shouldn't have combined it as quick. So what I'm gonna, I'm just doing now is just kind of fixing it and separating it back out into its own separate um, objects, just so that it makes this process a little bit easier. screwed this up a little bit right I can fix that and eh, it's quite easy uh, extract faces 
and I'm just gonna have a look at this. Okay, yeah. Uh, this is it's not too much of an issue because what we can do is we can just do this and just work on one small piece to fix. Um, okay, so that's back to how it was. Uh, let's have a look at the this bit here. Um, okay, yeah, so we're going to have some slight issues, but what we can do is, is if we grab this and delete it, and if I add there, and actually get rid of it. Hello to everybody who's just joined, uh, just carry on working on this. Um, this piece for Tableflip Games. Um, I'm also gonna I'm gonna put an in the loop there. Like I said, I'm just gonna redo some of this because yeah. I was having one of those days there. <clears throat> so I need to fix this. Oh, everybody's gone. I think that should be fixed. Yes, that's fixed. Great, cool. Uh, let's uh, move on. Let's just, uh, so the next thing I need to do is just, um, and then flip. Probably fixed it now. Yep. You new round here? Say hello in the chat. If you if you're regular, say hello as well. It's always good to see see people in the chat talking. Uh, makes the time go past really really quickly for me. I'll give you that. Okay, that's that fixed. Okay, <clears throat> let's try this again, shall we? So the original problem was that it was too, um, there was, it wasn't, the yeah, it didn't have enough verts in place, basically. Um, so I'm just gonna flip this on the Y. Combine that, and I always merge the bits as well, um, just to double check, make sure that they're all right. Okay, let's, so let's have a look at this. So I'm just going to extract that. So we don't need that face. That's fine. Um, And just need to clean these bits up as well. Because we can actually get rid of this. Definitely had a bad moment there with vertices. <coughs> uh, 
Ah. Take a drink. Ah. How is everybody in the chat? Let's get rid of these for the minute. I think we're ready. One thing I don't want to do, which what happened last time was I kind of combined these all together, which th that's why it screwed up basically. Um, so I'm just going to insert the edge loop on these bits first. Uh, same up top as well. Okay, and then what I'll do is I'll do on this as well. And then all I'll do is just hold V to snap them to the vert points. So I'm not going to combine these, or if I do, I'm not going to merge the verts together. That was definitely the reason why I just didn't like it last time. Same with up top. So all I'm doing is just making sure that they're in line with each other. So then when we do the bend, it's going to stay all right. So I have to combine these together. But as long as I don't merge the verts, it'll be fine. I can separate these out quite easily. I can actually just go shift right mouse button, separate, and it'll separate them. Um, the mistake I made last time was I merged the verts. That's when it started causing issues because the geometry was still in construction phase. So it was very messy. So my bad. Um, okay, so next thing, let's thing in all, all, always control S, save. Um, Control S, your friend. So um, if we go to uh, deform, nonlinear bend, and um, what was it about? It was about um, about a hundred, wasn't it? Let's give that a go. There you go. Got a nice curve on it. And there you go. That's the curve bit, bit done. So now I'm just going to tidy this up by pulling this in line. And I am actually going to separate this because this is door. So in, in essence, I want it to be able to be opened and stuff. So I need that as a separate piece for the time being. And then I'm just going to drag these and put them into position.
Let's undo that a minute. Because looking at the reference, it is quite flush. Maybe not, that's not the best for you to look at. Um, yeah, if you look at that, it's it's quite, oh, there we go. It's quite up to this bit here. So I'm thinking this is a bit too, that needs to come to here roughly. Yeah, we'll fix that now. That's quite thin, whereas ours is quite fat. So I think again, I'm gonna bring this slightly in a little bit. About there. That means just bringing this in as well. It's better to get the size right now than it is to then try and do it later on when you've got more detail in the model. Um, I'd definitely say we've gone past the block out phase on this. I think that's roughly about right. Okay, um, let's fix this bit um, because this has got a slight issue at the moment, which is this face isn't connected. So the best thing to do is, because obviously we're not going to use that piece there, is to grab the append polygon tool and go around. Or you could use fill hole as well, that always works.
Okay. Uh, what do we do? Let's say that needs to be Get rid of that. So it looks like that is actually flush with the door frame. So So yeah, we'll fix that now. Not do that wrong button. Hmm. Okay, so the next bit I'm going to do is the doors here. Um, then I can get this top bit done. Uh, actually, maybe worth. Hmm, just debating now. Let's get this bit done. Uh, this pole here. Again, I'm not shopping for um, uh, Victorian furniture. Um, okay, uh, so we get this bit. Uh, I see the back of it here.
you can straighten things out. Uh, even if you've turned them, you can actually straighten things out to make it a little bit more easier. Um, I'm just holding J to snap this into position while moving the scale tool inwards. So it's not actually scaling it, it's just uh, straightening it up and snapping it to a point. Uh, I think the snapping point on this is 15 degrees, I think. Um, but it works, so you can do that. It's quite easy to do. And it means that that straight piece that we didn't have, we've now got um, on there. So that I can start to create these square pieces that are at the top up here. Now, welcome to the stream, whoever's just joined us. Um, we're just finishing off this bit here. I don't think I'll be modeling this. Uh, don't think I'm gonna be able to. I have arrived, hi Kerry. You're the first person in 43 minutes to say hello. Make sure these are straight as well. Uh, there we go. So I think the next thing is if I just rotate these and grab Okay, so we can actually start to fix this up. Actually create a corner out of it. I'm just holding V to snap these. And then I just switch to the next one so I can see. Hi, Danny. Bend. Now, this is slightly down, so what I want to do is I just want to change the pivot to over here and get it so it snaps onto there, like that. Now, that's roughly where I need, to, I need it to come out a bit. So again, I'm going to snap the pivot to here. Instead of snapping it in the middle here, I'm gonna just drag it so it's now, so I know this is the distance, the gap that I need, but I know it's level with each other. So when I play around with this, it's not gonna to be too much of an issue. So
Okay. So I've got the rough shape there. It seems to be fine. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same here. Um, but I am going to do this. So I'll duplicate it in a minute so it's even. So I'm only having to match this bit here. The only thing is I don't have anything here uh, to line up. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab the square here, uh, the box, this box, create a new one. I'm just going to snap it. Just so I've got a bit of construction here so that I can support it basically. Because I know that this needs to be roughly around this place here. Sorry, I've got a bit of concentration on at the moment, so I'm not really engaging serious face. Ah. Stream connection should be all right. I think holding up quite well.
Okay. <clears throat> So yeah, the framework's coming along now. It's nearly, it's nearly there. Um, just gonna uh, do a clean up there. Um, next thing I'm gonna do is the um, uh, I'm gonna clean up these bits here because. Um, I'm not happy with this. Gonna get rid of that random um, uh, polygon. <coughs> Ooh. Gonna actually straighten these up a little bit because, um, yeah, it just doesn't look right. Uh, so if I delete that. Make sure the birds merged. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to extrude same with here. I should do that. There we go, that's probably a lot better. Okay, uh, next thing, let's do the cylinder. So let's uh, build this bit here. Um, this, I don't I, th mm, I don't know yet. I really don't know. I don't know whether to kind of just use alphas, uh, like a height map to get that detail and just have it so it's square or whether to sculpt it sculpting is going to take longer though so hmm. for time i might just do it as a square but let's get a cylinder going um save image So it looks like it starts flat, like a pancake, loops, um, curve, looks like I'm diving, um, and then um, curve up, pinch, curve around, straight pinch, straight up, yeah, okay. Stupid, but that's just how I visualize it. Um, Let's just make this a little bigger. So this is going to go here. Now, what I need to do is, so firstly, make sure that make sure these are the right size. And then what I'm going to do is, just so I can see where the middle point is, is I'm just going to put some geometry in here. And then, uh, we get the right button. I'm just going to snap that and then scale it so I can see where roughly it is, which is about there. So what did I say? Kind of goes flat, curved.
Okay, uh, next thing is uh, let's fix this a little bit. Um, oh. Let's do the actual enclosure bit of this bit here. Thank you for the follow, Unicorn Nick. Um, I'm hoping it popped up on stream. If it didn't, I'm sorry. I still, I think, I think it's working. Tommy did say the other day it was working, so yeah. But thank you for the Nick. Uh, thank you for the follow, Unicorn Nick. I think that's right. Unicorn Inc. Unicorn Inc. Sorry, me and names don't mix. Uh, I should really uh, read the names before I try and read them out. Okay, so let's do the door next. Yeah, it's quite a big piece. Now with the door, I don't think there's anything inclining on it as in indents or anything like that. So I think we can get away with just actually um, yeah, if we zoom in on that, there's this bit, which it might be worth actually putting in and then an inlay in here. The door itself, I think it's pretty solid. Pardon me. Try and get the this outer door done for this this bit here. So it's quite thick. How is everybody today?
So we'll do the bead. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's just me. When I'm in the zone or thingy, it's, I am sorry. I will try and slow down a little bit. Um, yeah, I, I have a habit of doing that. I do apologize. Uh, have I got a close-up shot of that trend? Okay, so it's not... Okay, so I just need it raised slightly up. And then that raised slightly down, that's fine. You could actually probably put that in the normal map. Uh, yeah. Although, earlier on I made a stupid mistake and just absolutely destroyed my model and I had to redo it, so... Um, even years and years of doing this, you still sometimes have those like stupid 10 minutes where you're just doing everything wrong, basically. Um, yeah, I have them all the time. Not all the time, but I have them every so often and it's just like, why did I do it that way? Well, someone will come into chat and say, oh, why didn't you do it this way? And I'm like, why didn't I do it that way? That's an actually better way of doing it. Um, and as a as a three D artist, as an artist, you're gonna get that anyway. Uh, but especially as a three D artist, yeah, that happens all the time. Um, on there, just gonna make this slightly smaller. But speed comes with practice, like anything. You're gonna get quicker once you know, like, I think. <laughs> Speed didn't come to me till about 2014 in 3D. And I think it's definitely when I finished university, I just didn't have the speed. And um, you definitely start to get faster um, when you when you start to, it's muscle memory at the end of the day. It's remembering where buttons are. It's remembering where things are. Um, like if you, like this today, I looked at an oven um, from from Kerry it wasn't actually modeled by Kerry, but she was asking me because there was some problems. And as soon as I saw the model, I didn't even click on clean up or anything. I was like, "That's an Engon problem. There's 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 faces with more than four sides here." Um, so you do get to a point where you can just take a small glance at a model and go, "Okay, this is what needs to be done on it. What this, what doesn't." And it all comes with practice, basically. It's not going to come overnight. And a lot of people don't realize that, that it is, it is a skill. So if you don't practice this skill, uh, say you, you go away from modeling for a couple of years and you come back to it, you will have forgot stuff. Um, so yeah, you just have to be careful with that. Um, things that stump me, organic stuff. Um, it takes me longer to think about what I need to do with organic stuff. So yeah, S stuff like that still surprises me. <clears throat> like even just looking at this, this is, this is more organic than I'm normally used to. So yeah. Yes, I've done some stylized texturing in ZBrush. Um, I like using ZBrush for that because it's dirty and you don't have to worry about too much. Just bashing in detail. Characters, no, I've never tried it in my life um, for characters. Um, I just, it just doesn't interest me one bit, really. Um, trees and rocks, I've used it for. Um, pretty decent piece of software for that. Um, although the last set of trees I made was for low poly on a mobile, so I definitely didn't use the brush for that. Um, I, But I do like it if I need to do some stylized stuff. It's really good um, for, for making some light stylized wood. I might do that on the stream. I might get ZBrush on the go. I haven't used it for a while.
Oh. I sh sorry, I should have. <coughs> ah, covered my face there. That was bad, man. Bad. I know, Holly. Aren't I rude? That's not going to work. Bit too high. I got an itch on the end of my nose. <laughs> so I did try and stream a bit of Call of Duty last night on this. Me and Jack playing it, and uh, yeah. Um, I try to be a, a friendly channel, so like no swearing and that sort of stuff. And there's no way I can play Call of Duty without swearing. I don't know what it is, but yeah, so I don't think we'll be ever streaming that on on this channel. Because uh, yeah, I just I can't not swear at it, at it. I try my best as well. Pardon me. Oh yeah, um, you have to send me your Activision name, uh, username, because I, I still think, is there, is there a way you can play? I know it's cross-platform, is there a way I can invite you if you're playing on PC to if I'm playing on Xbox? Or is it just the match makes cross-play? I don't know what it is, but yeah, like, like last night me and Jack, and Jack's Scottish uh, from Glasgow, um, he was, he was actually all right. It was me. Like there was a couple of times when um, I got scared. Like I got ambushed, and I was like, "Oh!" and then swore on the stream, and I'm like, "Yeah, this isn't going live." Yes, we do need to plunder the sea again, and maybe I can live stream that because I'm less sweary on Sea of Thieves. So maybe, maybe that's a, a, a stream-friendly game that I can play and not swear as long as you don't swear, Holly. Uh, maybe I should get it on PC. I've got Xbox Game Pass, so just thinking maybe, maybe something I can look into. I, I mean, you's all right. It's just normally Rich that I find hard to play with but that's because he just wants to see the world burn and uh yeah i'll come back to that in a minute i cannot figure out how i'm gonna fix that but anyway there's the first door i think it might be a bit too small so somewhere there So yeah, so the story with me playing Sea of Thieves with uh, Harpoli and um, Rich. I, actually, was it with you? I don't know. Anyway, Rich has a habit of... Um, Rich has a habit of just hassling everybody on that, on, on that game, Sea of Thieves. He just, he just goes after everybody, like... But then he'll like switch target because he's like, oh, piece of candy, oh, piece of candy, oh, piece of candy. And it's just like, okay, Rich, pick something to do. Okay, we could be like doing a quest. Uh, like me and Ross, me and Ross play and it's we have a nice time. We go and do some quests. We say hello to fellow pirates. We don't really engage much unless we get engaged upon. 
And then, like with Rich, it just turns into utter chaos. And the best thing is, he's been called out on this like several times on uh, talk show panels and BBC radio and all that. And he still does it. He still does it. He's actually playing Call of Duty. Uh, he's 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 doing the battle royale mode at the moment because he's. He, I think since he, he plays a little bit of Sea of Thieves, but then what he'll do is he was in the chat the other day actually, and then he'll um, he's been playing way too much Apex. Scourge of the Sea. Scourge? Scourge of the sea. He's something, Holly. I'll give him that. Apex has been keeping his uh, time up, so I haven't been seeing him much on Sea of Thieves. We need to get Danny as well from uh, level 23 on. Because um, I don't think he's played much, but yeah, we get him on the seas. He's always talking about it. So, what else have we got to do? Um, right. So, I think the next phase for this is... Um, kind of get this top bit... Maybe maybe this inside bit done, actually. So that I get this, these in, these shelves in. Um, Going to build this bit now. What's that doing there? Uh, if Danny's still in the chat, is the uh, is Three Kingdoms any good? Saw you playing it earlier. Yeah, I was, again, it's one of those games, like, uh, in the sales I bought, um, uh, Dawn of, um, not Dawn of War 2, what am I on about? The um, Total Warhammer 2. Um, and it's just trying to figure out, like, what games I can get and play. Uh, but I have got most of the Total Wars, so I, it, it's definitely going to be something that I pick up in a sale or something, a Steam sale. Um, because it is, it does, it looks fun. And I've been watching um, a YouTuber called Spiffing Brit, and he does uh, like not playthroughs, but um, like exploit videos, just uh, saying that it's a perfectly balanced game. And he got limit, uh, ultimate um, horse armies or something like that in that game. He does. He does a lot on Civ. I think Holly's been watching it with us as well. Um, but yeah, it looks fun. It looks fun. I tried Rome. Uh, I tried to go back to Rome, Total War Two, and I uh, I remember the the first one I loved, and I still like the second one as well. It's just um, I got quite far in, and then it decided to crash on me, and I was just like, great. I'm a, yeah. 
not a happy bunny. Yeah, I, I've, I've got a tiller, so maybe I should actually try try a tiller out. Um, yeah, like um, I haven't really put many hours into it. I think the highest game I've got, uh, I'll bring up Steam now. It's definitely Civ. Um, I think I'm sitting at uh, 6. As you can see, all strategy games on my Steam. No, no, um, uh, what's it? Um, so I've got 385 hours in Civ 6. Rome, I've only got 38. Total Warhammer 2, not even that, for like five hours. So yeah, maybe maybe I should give Attila a go and I have a go with the Romans on that, because I do like, I do like that game, the Romans. I do like my strategy games. Um, to be fair, the only I don't play many other games on PC other than strategy, uh, mainly because I've just got my Xbox for for like uh, RPGs and that sort of stuff. So um, yeah, do I do like do like a bit of strategy on PC. Civ Six, I. <laughs> I I like Civ Six. Um, I know Civ Five. Everybody loves Civ Five, um, and I think it was a it was a jump for the others. Uh, it was a jump from Five to Six, not only from the kind of art style, but also just like some like how the how the game played. There wasn't an emphasis on rushing. Like I remember on Civ Five, and Holly, if she's still in the chat, could probably attest to this. That uh, um, I would always rush the uh, Great Library because Great Library early tech brilliant boost. Um, whereas Civ Six, there, wa there wasn't that much of a rush um, for those sort of strats. And with the um, um, what do they call them? The areas, the recent, like the, the the science area, the the culture, the entertainment complexes that sort of stuff i really like that idea it's good and you can get some really cool cool things going with it and like the holy sites um with the dlc i think it made it better um i've been playing it recently and i've just finally got myself a holy victory and i've won with a couple more sieves um so yeah so i kind of went off it for a little bit and then the dlcs came out and i was having a <clears throat> They're really good, I think. Um, but again, yeah, there's a lot of mixed reviews on it, basically. But I, th I think it's good. Um, I don't think I paid full price for it when it first came out, because a friend of mine got me a discount, got me a copy, I think. Um, so yeah. I know a lot of people were moaning that it was quite expensive. I mean, yeah. If you if you want to game a multiplayer, um, I know it takes a whole day normally. So I, 
that's the problem mate. and um with Civ is that like it's not like a quick game um I remember playing Civ 5 with a few people from uh, they were on the they were on a uni course and um yeah we we did have a game a few games but they last ages uh, so yeah okay so I've got my <coughs> and just delete these uh, one thing what is going on with that? Yeah, I think we were playing some with Holly as well, and uh, Holly again just wants to see the world burn. Something she says, something twick, uh, tweaks, 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 switches, and she's like, "There, la di la di da." I'm, I'm getting on. I'm just building all my tech and stuff like that, and then all of a sudden she's like, "I just want to." like ransack everybody but yeah no the games that we used to play like they never we never finished them so it's just like well okay so there is an exploit um which i'm i i learned from uh spiff and brett which was uh the um you can stack pantheons. Uh, I won't tell you the glitch, um, but yeah, so I basically had nuclear weapons in, um, I think 1200 AD. Yeah, 1200 AD. Um, yeah, I was bombing Scotland who had archers and stuff with um, tactical ranged uh, bombers, stealth bombers, and stuff like that. So yeah, there is a there's there's a stupid exploit in the Pantheon system, which I'm surprised they haven't fixed, but it's still there. Yeah, yeah, it's 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 quite ridiculous. Uh, Okay, so yeah, there, there's that. Um, let me bring the door back in. Cool. <coughs> right, I need to do the countertop. I need to... Yeah, it was, it was quite funny because you're steamrolling people. You're steamrolling. I don't do it on multiplayer. That's not fair. I don't cheat on multiplayer. This was single player. So, yeah, this wasn't, this wasn't, I wasn't cheating other people. But, like, you're steamrolling, like, other AIs. And they haven't got a clue what's going on. And you're there rolling into their, like, cities where they've got, like, horse archers. And you're rolling in with, like, attack helicopters. And it's um, it's quite funny to see. Especially when you've got like um, modern modernized tanks, not even I think just tanks before Christ. Uh, but yeah, Plunder. Plunder's brilliant. Um, uh, I haven't properly played it. I, I had a match last night, but I had to leave before it was finished. Um, but it's definitely an interesting game mode. Um, but I used to enjoy the is it the bounty mode on um, Titanfall 2, if you've ever played uh, that mode. That was uh, that used to be fun. Oh, 
Oh, Titanfall 2 is brilliant. Like, I was so disappointed when they made um, Apex. I was like, where's my Titanfall 3? This is just a poor man's Titanfall. <sighs> Sorry, I get really upset about that. Uh, but yeah, no, no, Titanfall 2 is, uh, is really good, yeah. Fuming, Holly, yes. One would say fuming. I know, it's like I... Like, I tried to play Apex because I thought, okay, they're, they're trying to do something new with the Battle Royale scene. They're trying, and some of the things like the communication without having to talk was brilliant. I was like, oh, that's that's really good feature. Hats off to you. But then, because it's a Titanfall 2, it's a Titanfall game, in essence. It's got the guns, it's got, it's got the kind of look to it and that sort of stuff. And then there was no wall running. Or jumping around and I used to love wall running and um, when I played with Tommy there were six of us who used to play and once we got going you couldn't beat us because like especially with um, objective based games like the bounty hunter the um, amped hard wall is it where you capture the flag and stuff um, because what would happen is uh, Pauline who we used to play with um, Tommy's Tommy's cousin she would guard the A flag um, and then Tommy and Jack would guard other flags and then they'd just basically say, Matt, go run, go jump around and like distract people and uh, kill people and just don't PTFO, just just cause the other team as much havoc as possible. And we used to win lots of games doing that and it, it, was, a, it was a cool strategy um, that would work, um, but it, it was only possible because of the, the fluid, fast-paced action of that, of that game and I do miss it. Uh, we went back on it actually. We tried Apex the other night, and I was just like, "Yeah, let's just go play Dark Titanfall 2. And the campaign was brilliant. BT, I love BT. I've actually got BT. Um, I think I have. And no, Max, I know. Where's Where's your Titanfall? In? I've actually got BT. <clears throat> Sorry, it's a little present that I had um, from. Tommy, one of my birthdays. The only issue with him is he doesn't stand up properly. Um, but yeah, and the little pilot inside. So yeah. Uh, so yeah, that was it. Was a good. It was a good campaign. Um, stay. It's like uh, price from Call of Duty is falling, falling over. But yeah, no, it's. Um, yeah, I do. I hope. I hope they bring a new one out. I hope. Hope. Uh... No, it's not Sledgehammers. Who is it again? I can't remember the company who makes it. I hope. I hope they bring it out. Basically, I hope they bring another one out. Okay. Respawn. Yeah. Uh, which was formed by Vincent Pala, wasn't it? Who was from Call of Duty. But yeah, no, um, they, they nerfed, uh, Danny, they nerfed the auto locking pistol in the second one, I think. Because I remember the first time it was quite OP, but yeah, it's still, it's still an OP weapon, but yeah. It is. Um, I used to love, um, I only, uh, they used to take the mickey out on me for this, but I only played with um, Titanfall 1 weapons. I never tried any of the older stuff. And I think I, um, what was I running? Uh, like a G1 or an R201 or a Hemlock. Hemlock was a, a big one that I had. Like I've got that to Gen 10. Um, same with the R201 as well. Uh, and I used to have the um, grappling hook because, yeah, just getting around the map and that sort of stuff. <clears throat> Smart player. I like active camo plus shotty. I never really played with the shotguns. And again, I think it was just because I, I just used the, the old weapons. Uh, one of the cool levels in Timefall 2 campaign, which was the time stop level, where you actively played around with the um, time mechanics. And um, yeah, that was pretty cool. Um, I think I showed Holly that as a reference for, for something, for Cenotaph on, the, on dioramas and stuff. But yeah, that was pretty cool.
I'm glad you had Battlefield 3. I, I, I mean, I haven't really played the new ones. I played a bit of Battlefield 1, and I was, I was not the biggest fan. And then I played a bit of um, the World War 2 one, wherever it's called. But I was a very big fan of Battlefield. Um, me and Tom used to play it a lot, actually. Um, I think mainly Battlefield 4, though. Uh, I don't think we were friends before the three, um, but yeah, it was uh, it was good. Right, is that the World War Two one? Because I know the Pacific update looked quite good, but I still wasn't interested in buying a game just for Pacific. Um, to be fair, I've got EA access, so I could just. That's how I was playing it anyway, because I was just I've, I've got it on the A access. Okay, so uh, let's do the inside of this cupboard here, and we're nearly we've nearly done it. Let's just double check the uh, mannequin. Ignore the outliner. The outliner is dirty. There you go, that's better. Hmm. Do I need to do the inside of this? Don't think it's gonna open. I don't think so. Let's <coughs> have a quick look though. How does the inside look? Okay, it's not. No, I'll do the inside. It's not too, too crazy. Um, the only thing I will do is just, uh, just hide the door a minute. I can start to build the inside. Oh, what's going on with you? Uh, yeah, um, do you know what I've started? Um, I've gone back to playing Dragon Age Inquisition. Um, I never finished it first time around, so I thought, okay, I'll I'll give it another go. Um, so yeah, so that's my thing at the moment is uh, Dragon Age, uh, Dragon Age and Call of Duty, which isn't the the more logical choice, <laughs> but yeah, anyway. Don't have a go at me for that. <coughs> but yeah, Doom. If I was a Doom fan, I would get it. But I just, I'm going to wait for it to come on Xbox Game Pass because yeah, I think the other one has. Wolfenstein did. That's how I played Wolfenstein, actually, was on game um, Xbox Game Pass. Oh yeah, I still need to fix this mess. Right, okay, yeah, that's fine. I do. Um, I still have a heart for Bioware, um, even though like the mass, last Mass Effect was a bit of a uh, touchy subject, and like Anthem, I haven't even played Anthem. Again, I just I, I don't know. I was not drawn to it because I, 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 I played Destiny One. Um, I thought it was all right, and I tried Destiny Two, and I just 
yeah, I was just not into that style of game, so I thought Anthem probably wasn't going to be the best thing for me. Uh, you'll notice I'm always going back to reference because, um, yeah. But don't get me wrong, like, most of the games that Bioware make, other than the animations in Anadromage, and maybe they're there, English there, um, is, is very nice. Like, the artwork is beautiful and that sort of stuff. It's just, yeah, like the, the gameplay, I, it's just not my cup of tea. I mean, I think I've got the Anthem uh, art book, he says. My collection of art books is uh, stupidly, has been growing ever so often. Um, I don't think I have. I think that might need to be a purchase. Um, Yeah, I have many, many, many art books, uh, which you probably can't see because uh, they're on the bottom. Um, yeah, um, I'll I'll pick it up. I'm glad my art books are here now because I can see what I have got and what I haven't got. I have got an Amazon wish list which has got all the art books that I want. Um, my parents use it as a um, Christmas Christmas thing, basically. Um, so yeah. Hmm. Oh, this was a good art book actually, if you've um, got recommended. Um, it's all photography in Tokyo. Um, and yeah, it's pretty cool. I've got like stuff like that. So, yeah, uh, well worth, I think it was 30 quid. Um, and it's, yeah, it's not a mass produced one, I don't think. Uh, so yeah, Liam, Liam Wong. Um, uh, the guy's called Liam Wong. Um, let me try and find it. Um, I've also got um, Beauty and Decay 1 and 2, um, which is... Um, so this is the guy um, for that book there, um, which is pretty cool. Um, it's got some, yeah. It's got some really nice, really nice pieces and stuff like that, especially in that book. Um, but yeah, like I've also got like Beauty and Decay, which is all to do with like urban exploration and uh, de uh, like that, which is pretty cool as well. Um, one of our friends actually goes and does it. He does urban exploration and takes photos of like old abandoned satellite sites and that sort of stuff. And uh, we bought him one called Soviet Giants, I think it's called. And it's uh, loads of uh, old Russian military installations that have like decayed. Yeah, really, really good for reference and that sort of stuff. It's definitely not helping me on this project though, because yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna wrap up the stream in a minute, um, in a two hour mark. Uh, so let's, let's, let's hopefully I can get this finished. Um, so what's next? So I need um, uh, one, two. Okay, cool. <clears throat> right. So I need to, let's just make this a little bit bigger, thicker, a little bit thicker as well.
Okay. So the next thing I need to fix is this bit here. So I do need to hide that a minute so I can actually see this. Combine that bit. There you Okay, so if I uh, duplicate this now and flip it in the X, there we go. We have our side table. Um, so yeah, so managed to get it finished. Um, what I'll do is I will um, UV this on stream so next time that they're in. Um, still, there's a few little bits that I need to fix, just mainly uh, making sure things snap. Well, if we look at the inside of this now, we've also got the inside as well. Yeah. 
yeah, there's a little bit of things to do, but yeah, we've, uh, it's pretty much nearly there. So yeah, cool. Thank you for tuning in, and uh, yeah, thanks for the chat as well. Um, and um, yeah, maybe streaming Friday, I think. Um, more of this uh, around about the same time, so that we can, uh, so I can get on with this project because I do need to finish the uh, the actual study and move on to other parts of uh, this project. But yeah, thank you for tuning in and I'll see you in the next stream.